what is up and welcome to Maps on the Map. You join me in Copenhagen, Denmark. So I'm going to be showing you the places to visit, the things to see, and of course, what to eat. So we're going to be hitting some food spots, getting our munch on, and showing you the Danish pastries, the hot dogs, everything Copenhagen's famous for. Now Copenhagen also features Noma, which is the best restaurant in the world, but we don't have the facilities for that. So we're going to be showing you some cheaper eats today. So when I think Denmark, I think Danish pastries and Copenhagen's bakery scene does not disappoint. It's a pastry lover's paradise and hands down the best way to start the day in Copenhagen is with a flaky pastry and coffee. Sadly, I visited Copenhagen on Easter weekend, meaning that loads of things were closed, including some of the top bakeries in the city. So quick shout outs go out to St. Peter's Bakery, Heart Bakery and Juno the Bakery, which are all highly rated and from my research, worth checking out. The first bakery I did manage to visit was Lagerkauset, or if you live in London or New York, Olenstein. And I know, I know, this isn't a local independent restaurant, but Mans was hungry, loads of places were closed, and pastries needed consuming, so we hit it up. And it actually hit the spot. Loads of choice, a good vibe, and fresh pastries. So to drink, I got a chai tea latte and Mrs. On The Map got an oat milk latte. Although, I nearly spilt one of them. They actually did. Yeah. <gasps> Feast your eyes on these beasts. So first up, we've got something Olenstein is famous for, the cinnamon social, which is an absolute monster and can easily be shared. It's basically a soft dough with layers of cinnamon and vanilla custard and then topped with icing to give it that kick of sweetness. Now, if you're into flaky pastry, this ain't it because it's more of a softer texture. But I got you covered, as we also got the chocolate swirl, which as the name suggests, is a pastry swirl with a short crust base intertwined with layers of chocolate, brown sugar, and icing, which I also nearly dropped. Cream and cinnamon. <laughs> now the next bakery is called Buka, and this one is exclusive to Copenhagen. Now I'm not gonna lie, this was never on my list before I set up on the food tour, but it was actually recommended to me by one of the locals, and damn it was good. This place has vibes and decor for days, and was one of the few places in Copenhagen where I felt like, this is Denmark. So we're at Buka, a nice bakery in the heart of Copenhagen. So what we've got, we've got a latte and some beautiful Danish authentic pastries. So this is the latte. I need my kick of caffeine for today. So let's give this a try. That's a good coffee, man. So this is the cardamom brioche. For those Indians, cardamom is lechi. So that's what we put in our Indian tea. So let's give this a go. It's beautifully flaky. Have a look at that. Lovely flaky pastry, proper strong cardamom flavour. So if you're not a fan of lechis or cardamom, then maybe this isn't the one for you. But it's worth a try. Copenhagen specialises in these. Lots of bakeries do these types of pastries. And then this feast, oh, this has some weight to it. This is the mascarpone cream and strawberry flaky pastry. Look at that, look at that bottom. Let's just tap the bottom. Look at that. Nice flakes, let's give this a try. That is some good stuff. Look at those layers. Look at that, it's beautiful. That is amazing. So that is Buka. Beautiful pastries here, man. Definitely check it out. Bakery's clocked. I think it's time to check out something else Copenhagen is famous for. Hot dogs. So this is a pork hot dog from DOP, which if you look at any Copenhagen food list, this is gonna be on it. So some of the best hot dogs in Copenhagen. So what we've got, we've got a pork sausage, we've got pickles, this kind of wheat bun, and we've also got ketchup, mustard, and roumelade, which is this special Copenhagen sauce, kind of like a pickly mayo. And we've got fried onions on top, and also fresh onions. So let's give this a go. That is good, man. Have a look at that. So you can see that beautiful sausage, those layers, that fresh mustard. It's actually a wicked hot dog. So Copenhagen smashes it with the hot dog game. I didn't think that'd be this good. 
They're sick, man. Now, another thing that's popular in the Copenhagen food scene are food markets, including Torvalen Food Market, which is everything from fresh fruit and veg, a selection of meats, to ready to devour mouth watering eats. Another food market is Tivoli Food Hall, which I'd say has more kind of ready to eat foods. It's also right next to Tivoli Gardens, making it a great place to eat if you're visiting the theme park. If you want to know more about Tivoli Gardens, then check out my video on the top things to do in Copenhagen. Now, regardless of which food market you check out, I came for one thing and one thing only, the famous Danish smorbord. So right now we're in Tivoli food market. And one of the things that Copenhagen and Denmark are famous for is the smorbord. Uh, I have no idea if I pronounced that right, but it's basically an open-faced sandwich served on rye bread and it's basically layered with loads and loads of toppings. So I went for the fried fish smorbord, which is basically rye bread with fried fish on top. And then we've got dill mayonnaise, capers, fresh lemon and some dill on top. How good does that look? So it's probably best that we give it a go. Just gonna squeeze that lemon on top. So we're gonna try and get a bit of everything. So there you go. Let's give it a go. It's really nice. That is so good. Definitely try this if you come to Copenhagen. Schmorabord. We serve it in several places, but we're at Tivoli Food Market, just next to the Tivoli Gardens theme park. Bang your meal. Now I think it's time for some less traditional food as we head to War Pigs a barbecue joint and brewery in Copenhagen's former meatpacking district. The location is bare hipster, it's basically some hench car park, but it adds to the aura of this place. Now I had heard good things and was so excited to go because I love barbecue and with four stars on TripAdvisor I thought it's gotta be good and worth checking out. Fun fact, it's also home to Europe's largest high quality smoker, allowing boss man to smoke up one tonne of meat a day. That's a lot of meat. So I went for a bit of everything, the trooper tray, and for 215 Danish kroner, that's about 25 pounds or 30 dollars. It ain't cheap, but I thought I'm here once, let's check it out. Now for that price, you get some pulled pork, ribs, sausage, and two sides. Now I'm not gonna lie, it didn't blow me away, man. And I'm so sad to say that the meat, although flavorful, was just a bit dry, and it just lacked that wow factor. But the mac and cheese game was on point. Now I'm yet to find a barbecue place that fully blows me away. So if you know any places that I've got to try, then leave a comment down below. Copenhagen being a foodie heaven is home to some of the world's best restaurants. And I had to take the opportunity and check some of them out. So let's start with pizza at a restaurant called Based. So we're on our way to Based and we had to get a bus to get here. But Based basically is a beast. So it ranks as one of the top five pizza restaurants in Europe and it's in the top 10 list for the best pizzas in the world. So I had to check it out. Like I said, Copenhagen is a food lover's dream. So we're gonna head there now, check out their pizza and get our munch on. So Based is an Italian inspired restaurant founded by Noma OG, chef Christian Puglisi, where the cheese and charcuterie is made in house and the vegetables grown on their farm but was based the beast when it comes to pizza. Well, me and Mrs. on the map had differing opinions. So my pizza had andouille sausage, smoked mozzarella, garlic, and oregano, all served on a tomato passata base. The standout ingredient for me was that tomato base. It's weird because the tomato base of a pizza hasn't really been something I pay attention to, but this was so fresh and rich in flavor. Now I really like my pizza, but I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't blown away and like, oh my God, this is the best pizza ever. It was good, don't get me wrong, but taste is a fully subjective experience. And I think the reputation of this place kind of caused me to go in with mad high expectations, which all ended up being a bit of an anticlimax. So I was on the fence, but misses on the map, till this day, didn't rate it at all. To this day, to this day, I think it's down to what she ordered though, which featured a tomato base, dried olives, and for some reason, cheese that wasn't melted. So yeah, kind of underwhelming sadly. One restaurant however that didn't disappoint was Gasoline Grill. Right, so we're outside Gasoline Grill, which is voted as one of the best burgers in the world. 
like I said, Copenhagen Foodie Spot Central. Now, they have chains all around Copenhagen. The most popular one, which you might have seen, is actually in a petrol station or on the side of a petrol station. But this one's in Tivoli Gardens and I need a burger, so I'm gonna go check it out. Okay, so first up, let's try the fries. Look at that. Good crisp and salty. Sometimes the thing with fries is that there's not enough salt on them. But this is some good chip. And then, this is what we've been waiting for. So this is on Bloomberg's list of some of the best burgers in the world. So they ranked 27 burgers and this came in that list. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. So we've got some lettuce, tomato, onions, pickles, and that beef burger with cheese. That's mad. That is a good burger. Proper juicy burger. That was worth the wait. And it isn't cheap. It was about 20 quid per kind of meal with fries and a drink and a burger. But it was worth it. Banging man. Okay, so basically what happened was they forgot the cheese on my burger. And Mams on the map loves cheese. But there is some good stuff at the end of this story. Because Mams got two burgers now. So they gave me a free extra burger. This time, I'm going to show you, there is the melted cheese on top. Check that out. So two burgers for the price of one. And that's good service, okay. So let's give the cheeseburger a bite. These burgers are so good. And this potato bun is so soft and warm. Buttery, the meat, juicy. Salad, nice and crispy. And then that cheese. You can't have a burger without cheese, man. I can see why it's one of the best and one of the highest rated burgers in the world. <sighs> now to finish the meal. So this has been the Copenhagen food tour. If you enjoyed the video, then leave a like. Got any questions? Then leave a comment down below or DM me on Instagram. And as always, subscribe for more. Till next time, peace.